everybody. Happy Wednesday night. Uh, I'm Melissa Thomas. Um, so you can see me. to play with a stamp set tonight I have some ideas for a card and so I want to show you kind of you know where ideas can come from and how we can build fun cards um, so we're gonna play with the Mary's trees stamp set and some of the I think Mary and bright is the I just hit myself in the head with paper Mary and bright DSP anyway okay here we go. I'm going to put everything down. I'm going to find us on the computer, but I just want to make sure I can see your comments. So I'm going to put this down. Hopefully, let me wait a second. Sorry, I'm now in kind of a weird position tonight. I don't know why. I don't want to get to where I need to be. Um, if you have um, a stamp set that you are um, interested in seeing in action and you want to, um, you know, get me to, to do something with it, then make a comment below. Tell me what stamp set you've been playing with or stamp set that you would love to see tables from, and I'm happy to do that. So let me just make sure that I can see us. Okay. And I do. Okay. Super. All right. Here we go. I'm going to put this down. Because there's some interesting dies in the die set. So the stamp set is, um, you know, it, it looked kind of unremarkable to me. It has the tree, it has some nice sentiments and some nice fonts, but I wasn't super like impressed with it. But the die set, as sometimes is the case, the die set has some pretty good magic in it. So one of the things that's cool about the dies is that it has these cascading trees um, and they um, they actually, um, there's like five of them because you stamp the tree once and then you can die cut it to have a big tree, a four tier tree, a three tier tree, a two tier tree, or one just kind of the top. So what I was thinking would be fun was to stamp one and then die cut it and then layer it in a bunch of really bright colors. So I thought that would be fun. I also really love this tag and there's like a tag reinforcer for the top. And so I thought that was kind of cool. I do like that they have multiple dies for the ornaments. So it's easier for you to do that. And then they have several different stars. They have kind of a rounded star. They have this like pointier star. And then they have this which is a garland die. And so it actually die cuts all the garland in one swoop. And then you just put the garland on side to side. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and I actually die cut it from the glimmer paper, the adhesive back glimmer paper. And so you'll see that, um, that's really fun. All right, so as I usually do when I get inspired, I'm gonna go to the DSP for my colors. And this paper is on page nine. I don't have the package or else I would look up and see what colors are in it. And I could probably guess, but I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, so Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, Crushed Curry, Granny Apple, Shaded Spruce, and Blueberry Bushel. So I'm probably gonna pull um, one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, I'll probably skip the Shaded Spruce and I'll do something else with that. That's a fun, that's a fun color palette for a tree. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna make a big rainbow tree. Um, so I'm gonna pull that aside. And we're gonna stamp the tree. And 
I could use shaded spruce to do the detail on the tree, but I actually like the tree plain. Um, I don't really have a, like I don't have problems with the tree being a little more plain. Um, and then the two sentiments that I, so there's, there's love and joy, which is a really sweet sentiment. I wish it would fit in here. So that must be like for packages. Um, and then the other one says, may your home be filled with the spirit of the season, which that's a nice sentiment. So we'll probably use that. All right. And then we'll put this over here and we're going to grab our tree with our big block. The other thing, um, I need to order another one of these, an e-block. Hey, Patsy. We're going to make a fun, fun Christmas tree. <laughs> it's going to be wild. All right, so one of the things I was thinking was that I could try to ink up each of these pieces separately. I could use the markers, and I could do that. Um, I could also stamp it multiple times and then create basically like do one in red, one in yellow. And then when I die cut them, I could actually get like five trees out of like five trees. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my trees and I'll work light to dark. So I'm gonna start with yellow and I think I've got like these around here somewhere, but we're gonna start to, we're gonna stamp some trees. So remember with photopolymer, you're just gonna wanna hold down for a couple seconds while the ink comes off the, um, you know, off the, the stamp. So one, two, three pretty good. Um, a few gaps here and there, but that's okay. Once we put some garland on it and stuff, it should be fine. Um, this is definitely one that we'll want a YD for. <laughs> so this month, our merriest makers, uh, this is the stamp set we used. And so we, um, and so it was a lot of fun to get to play with that. And um, next month we'll be doing the Joy to You. I do have one kit left from the Mary's Makers cards. Uh, not everybody, I have two rounds of folks who have come or who are coming. I have one already come, and then I've got another one who's coming soon. So if you're still interested and you want to come Sunday, November 5th, uh, I have an extra kit. Or you could um, you could do it by mail. So all right, so we're gonna stamp another tree. So you can actually stamp these trees pretty close together. You might not have gotten the full tip on that one. That's okay. We can always put a star on top of it. Oh, this needs to be re-inked. Okay. Then Hey, Lynn, how are you? We're making lots and lots of trees. <laughs> All right, definitely inking that one up solid. All right, and then here's another tree. Definitely push in the middle. Anytime you have these big photopolymer images, you gotta make sure you push well in the middle. Oh, that one's nice.
All right, so you gotta tell me, have you ever had a pink Christmas tree or a Christmas tree that wasn't the same, like wasn't, you know, a standard green? If so, what color? I must know if any of you have had fun colored trees. All right, and then we're going to stamp the berry bushel one. All right, so now I'm gonna die cut the trees. So I'm gonna take all my little tree pieces. <laughs> and here we go. Melon Mambo, Got it on my like that because if it doesn't stand out from that, shoot. All right, well, I'm gonna have to fix that later. All right, let me see. Oh, I can fix this. All right, so we're gonna re stamp one piece. We're gonna re stamp the yellow and the poppy parade. I mixed them up. It's supposed to be red orange, so so I needed to really do the. This needs to be like the second one down. So I'm just gonna find a little piece, and I'm gonna do this because I don't need the whole tree. So I can just do part of a tree. You had a silver aluminum one. Oh, hot pink and teal ornaments. Huh, that's so fun, Lynn. Um, yes, Pat, you were in class the other day. 
Um, it does make great cards. I'm excited to try this. So when we were playing around with it the other day, I realized that I could layer the card and I could maybe make something that was a little interesting. So I'm hopeful that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it right and we can make a fun kind of multi-layered card. So, all right. There's one of the dies. Alright, so now we can build the tree and it can kind of can go like this, right? So we've got a fun multicolored tree. And then I want to do some fun paper behind it. So we've just got to find the right kind of which DSP has the most color, but is also kind of fun. And maybe we can use some other solids to kind of break it up. I think this one's really fun. I think the stripes are fun too. Um, I think the polka dots are more fun. Probably depends on what's on the back side. Oh, the fa la 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 la. So I can't use up my fa la la la, but I don't care about the stars. So we're gonna use the stripes. Um, and as much as I appreciate the lights, and they're kind of fun too, maybe we'll do the lights. Yeah, let's do the lights. Okay. So then we're gonna case one of the cards that we made in class. So um, we had some fun, fun designs in class. Um, and so, um, you know, just looking to see, you know, what, which layout I like. Um, I liked this layout. I thought this was a lot of fun and it's a nice way to like feature a card um, or a, you know a big tree I think this one's really nice too um, so but I think I'm gonna do this one because this is kind of a fun fold so I'm gonna keep that card there just so I can remember how it felt so this is an interesting size card base because it's not your standard card base. And it's an interesting, um, it's a little different than what you're used to before. And then I'm gonna use Shaded Spruce as my base piece for all of this. So I've got some Shaded Spruce here. I don't have enough scraps, so I'm just gonna have to cut from scratch. And that's okay. All right, so, what we're gonna do, hey, Melissa Murphy, you still have the hot pink ornament. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I have some of my grandmother's ornaments and they're very, um, they're very near and dear to me. And then this is the, um, this is that silver adhesive back paper, they're silver and gold. And you can see if I flip it over, you'll be able to see I cut the garland and the star from it. So we're gonna use this to add some bling to our situation. All right, so I'm gonna slide our tree over for just a quick second. And I'm going to make this card. So on, so it's, um, trying to remember, cause it's a little tricky. It's four and a quarter by six, seven and a half. Okay, good. 
so I'm gonna have, and it's scored at three. Yeah, three, okay, good. Yeah, Hold on, now I'm doubting myself. So you can get, you know, two cards out of a standard sheet of paper. Did I do this wrong? Son of a biscuit. Did I do it wrong? No? Okay, I got that part right. You should be able to get two cards out of a card base, but who knows? Maybe not today. <laughs> and then I need some backer pieces for these panels. So you just, you know, you measure down from a quarter inch, right? So this would be, um, so this would be two and three quarters, right, by four. So we're gonna get four inch piece. And we need one that's two and three quarters. And then unfortunately the other panel is a little bit smaller. So this one's going to be two and a quarter. Okay. And then the larger piece that comes across, you can kind of see, right, how we're building our card. Then the larger piece is, I think it's what, three and a half by four. Three and a half by four and a quarter. DSP. So for the card that um, we did earlier, we used two different DSPs. So this one, we're going to do, we're probably going to do the lights in the background because um, it's a little bit of a busier print. So we're going to go in again a quarter from these, right? So they're four. So they're going to be three and three quarters. And then this one was two. So two. So I'm probably going to cut like a, a two-inch strip because that's what will go on that one. And then this one's a two and a half. Yeah. And it'll be three and three quarters. So I thought that these would be three and three quarters. So again, hopefully you're seeing kind of how we're building, right, the layers of the card. All right. And then we're going to have this green piece in front. So that's going to block some of that. Um, and if we think it's a little too big, it looks a little big, then we can always, um, you know, I could trim it down by a fourth or something. That's a little wide, so it's three and a half. Ah. We'll just try a little off and see what we think. All right, so then we still need room for our tree, so we're gonna put the tree on there, but then we need one more piece of DSP on here, and we need kind of a DSP that's not gonna distract from the tree. Did you guys see where I put my DSP? So something that's going to be probably more solid. Uh, or follow up. Which would be pretty cute. The star, I think, would be a little... I'm going to like bring this guy over. I don't like that. Hmm. Just some like hardcore pink stripe. 
use vellum so the DSP shows. Ooh, to kind of tone it down. Oh, that's a good idea, Sherry. Okay, nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's use vellum. Yeah, there you go. The fa la 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 or the pink stripe. That's where you guys get to pick. So this panel, so we're going to go in just a bit, so it'll be three and a quarter by four, we're going to make by four. So we're going to do four this way, and then we're going to do, no, wrong, wrong way, cool, four, C, and human after all. And three and an eight. I just hadn't had a chance to play with this paper yet. So okay, good. So now I just need a matching piece of vellum. So three and an eight by four. Okay, we can do that. Alright, so I'm going to glue my DSP onto my cardstock pieces just to make it a little bit easier. Then it'll be easier to see kind of how the card comes together. Okay, and then we'll glue this DSP to this one. So I like this card because um, if you don't have a lot to write, it's actually really nice because there's not a ton of space to fill up. So I could even stamp this really nice sentiment. It's kind of large on the inside and I think it would look really, really nice. So I might end up doing a different sentiment on the outside. That's okay. Honestly, with this paper, I don't really know that you need much of a sentiment. All right, so I'm putting adhesive on the vellum, but I'm going to hide it behind my tree, right? So it's no big deal. Uh, there we go. So you can see it through, but it doesn't matter because we're going to hide it. All right, so we're going to put adhesive on the top. And I'm going to hear this one down pretty well, only because I want to make sure that, you know, this card might... You know, people might try to, you know, open it or do weird things. So I'm going to make sure that that's got some good adhesive there. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to start with our blueberry bushel tree. And we're going to lay that down flat. And then I'm going to be extra and I'm going to pop these up on the edge. So we'll put this one up, this one dimensional. So this card's going to be, it's got a lot of layers. Um, it's going to be pretty thick. So, all right, so there's one. And then there's two. I kind of felt like if you're going to go untraditional, you might as well blow it out, right? We're just gonna blow it out with this. All right, three. And then we've got our little topper. And then, oh my goodness, it's so cute. So you can see, I and mean, you can see all the layers of the tree, hopefully. Yeah, so that's really wild. And then we're gonna get our fun, sparkly, adhesive backed stuff. And we're gonna topper on it which that's got some adhesive so that's good and then 
with these guys, you're just going to swag it from side to side. So you just go from one, one side to the other. And so, you know, on your little pieces, make sure, let me kind of press this down, make sure we got it good. If you're careful, then the adhesive, the, the stuff won't come off. Um, you know, like you can see I'm, the backing is staying down. So you just have to kind of get your nail or you could use scissors, snips, the pick a tool, something, just to make sure that, you know, you just get this, the sparkle with the adhesive and not the actual backer. Because once you get the backer, then it, I think it's really hard to separate the two. Oh, and then this one goes from here to here. Okay, well that is a card and that has a lot of uh, character <laughs> and pizzazz and is um, quite, the, quite the card. Um, this would not be for your everyday Christmas person. Uh, this is definitely a special card that goes to a special person who maybe has, you know, a good sense of humor or enjoys uh, a lot of color. Um, but I thought it was really fun and I had a vision for it in my head. And so, you know, um, I am so glad you love it, Sherry. <laughs> I was definitely like, oh, I'm going all in on this one. But this is fun paper and definitely gives you some ideas of what you can do. I just had no idea that this stamp set and die functioned this way. So I um, thought it was kind of fun and um, hope you like it. I will stamp the sentiment on the inside. I don't think the outside needs anything. <laughs> so we'll stamp it. We'll just do it in blueberry bushel since it's the one we have right here. So, and we're going to stamp it right side up because, you know. And it is a very nice uh, stamp set. Look, I like the fonts and stuff too. So I think that's a really fun Christmas card. And someone's going to love it. It's going to go in one of my Christmas markets. And someone will absolutely love it. I'm sure of it. So um, thanks so much for tuning in tonight. And uh, kind of going on the journey with me with this stamp set. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful week and let me know if there's stamp sets that you want me to play with, if there's anything in the catalog that you want to see. Um, we're, you know, we're going to be hitting some, some Christmas sets uh, coming up over the next couple weeks, but if there's anything you want to see, uh, show me, show me. Um, all right, y'all. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you later. Bye, y'all.